Well, hello, friends. Wolfcore here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We are on the morning of day 10, and as usual, we've got some stuff to talk about before we get going for the day. Uh, first things first, we went ahead and crafted that baseball bat last night through our mods and the pink dye in it, and doesn't it look sick? I have never thrown pink mod at a baseball bat before, but it looks freaking awesome. That purple and the spikes, ah, I love it. 10 out of 10. We also crafted a hunter mod for that, which really isn't going to affect us at all other than just upping its damage very slightly. Uh, the mod in and of itself is kind of useless, though. Other than that, we are going to be heading up to the northeast today to talk to the snow trader and do a quest up there for Jen. I also wanted to get another forge crafting. And if we end up needing a second forge, it's just going to be used for stone. Just so that we can make cement if it comes to that without clogging up our regular forge if we need that to smelt metals. And since we're on day 10, I figured it'd be a good time to go over our stats and just kind of look at our build and stuff. Because, you know, I, obviously I'm very familiar with this stuff having recorded and edited this whole series. But I figure some of you guys might not have been paying attention as well as I have, you know. That seems pretty reasonable, so let's go over the stats real quick. We are currently level 30. Our game stage is 45. We have 652 enemy kills. We are rocking three pieces of scrap armor and two pieces of level 1 steel. We have both of the goggles that we want, our cigar, and pretty much all of our preferred clothing. Except for this hoodie, I'd like to replace that with a BDU top. There's our extended character stats. If you're so inclined, you can pause and look at those more closely. Let's look at the skills real quick. Uh, in Perception, we have Rank 1 Demolitions Expert and Rank 1 Lucky Looter. In Strength, we're up to level 7 with our Cigar. We've got one Rank and Boomstick, and we're going to try and get that up to 4 today if we can, so we can start using our Pump Shotgun effectively. Rank 4 Pummel Pete, Rank 4 Sexual Tyrannosaurus, one Rank and Master Chef, and 3 and 3 in Minor 69er and Mother Load. In Fortitude, we are rocking one rank in Pain Tolerance, one in Healing Factor, and one in Rule 1 Cardio. In Agility, we have one point in Flurry of Blows. And in Intellect, we are up to five with our nerdy glasses on, and we are rocking two points into Advanced Engineering. These are all the books that we have read. If you're so inclined, you can pause and check that out. Uh, and last thing before we go, I crafted eight ladders, and we are going to throw these on the side of the building. And as this place continues to grow and improve, there's just going to be all sorts of little ladders and hatches and doorways in funky places. Just so if we ever get if we ever get caught in a bad spot, you know, we have options. You know, like if we're getting chased by a dog. Haha, <laughs> now we're up here. Oh, dog learned how to climb. Boom. We're, ah! <laughs> well, <laughs> I think you get the general idea. <laughs> there's going to be lots of sneaky little we're gonna be like a little rat they're never gonna be able to catch us dude ain't no chads around here we're 100 percent rat i almost forgot let's grab our gasoline and all the stuff we want to sell to the trader and we don't need that much leather or mechanical parts let's take some of these too and sell those that should be good and depending on how the time is looking when we finish up our quest for today we may stop in dyersville and wrench some of these street lights we are pretty much out of steel right now and I don't like being out of steel. I like to have, you know, like 20 on hand, just in case I want to craft a new mod that we got the schematic for or something like that. So, we'll see what happens there. Well, that was fucking annoying. I could probably get away with just editing out the footage there that got ruined, but for the sake of complaining, uh, I'm going to tell you guys about this. So, OBS, the program that I use to record the footage that you're watching, the video footage decided to put out an update today and I'm like oh, okay whatever an update no big deal so I start recording get 10 minutes in and I look up and it's like it's got like this little like warning notification thing you know I'm thinking about killing this bear over here but that might be a really stupid idea hmm fuck it <laughs> and I'm like oh god what is this so I I stop recording I go look at the footage it's completely Framey, like it, it looks like a slideshow, not like a actual video recording. <laughs> like, I can't use this footage. What the hell? And goddamn, doesn't that piss you off when like a program that you use insists that you use their updates? It's like, I don't want an update. Everything was working just fine. Just let me use your fucking program. 
and leave me alone. But no, they insist that I use their update, and I end up losing footage because of it. Fortunately, I caught it after just a couple of minutes, so we didn't lose much footage. We we killed a, a bobcat thing over there. Not a bobcat, a cougar. And, uh, yeah, we're back. I've done some testing. I think we're good. Let's kill this bear and move on with our day. How do you have this much health? Holy shit. I mean, I know we're playing on insane, but... Buddy, you need to die already. <laughs> Alright, I feel better. Uh, let's skin this bad boy. Eh, 45 meat. I'm not going to say that was worth it for all the ammo we wasted, but... At least we have an idea of what the average bear's power level is. So, you know, we've got that going for us, which is nice. And that, that took like 75 shots of 7.62 to take him down. Uh, there's also tons and tons of dangerous wildlife up in the snow biome. Like, we killed a cougar, we killed a bear, there's a wolf right there. They're absolutely everywhere. So if you're ever in desperate need of meat and have an excess of ammo and a death wish, you can always come up to the snow biome <laughs> and try and hunt some wildlife. Let's deal with this guy on foot. I don't want to waste any more ammo. And... Ow! Ow! Jesus! Okay, maybe I'm getting a little bit too aggressive. Wow, Lumberjack's hit hard. Let's take a painkiller. We've got all of our goodies. Let's head inside. Let's see, we got some sugar butts. Could buy some food, but I think I'm okay. Those skull crushers would probably be worth it, but... Once again, I'm okay. You know what? Why don't we loot this place before we go ahead and deal with him? Hey, only broke one lockpick. Not too bad. Uh, level 1 hunting knife. That's kind of cool. That might be better than our bone knife. We'll check and find out. This is part of why coming to the snow trader is so great and why it's always the second trader I come to. There are two munitions boxes, which can have just an absolute ton of goodies in them here. Uh, in addition to all the other loot, like his gun safe and, you know, all the garbage and whatnot you can search through. So we did actually have a couple good finds. We found an extra anvil for the forge that we crafted this morning, which is nice. We found a level 1 ratchet, which is... Almost definitely going to be better than our level 1 wrench. We found this level 1 hunting knife, which is probably going to be just on par with our bone knife, but we'll look at that a little bit more closely. Let's get all of this stuff sold and see what he has to sell and go from there. Alright, that looks good. We've Right off the bat, we've got a level 1 steel chest armor. We could buy that just for the parts. Let's see what else we've got before we hard commit. Uh, 800 cobblestone, absolutely, that's an easy purchase. Oh, <laughs> level 1 pump shotgun, are you kidding me? Oh, that's too funny, we just crafted one of these. For 640, I think you get 4 shotgun parts from a pump shotgun, so we'll probably buy this just for shotgun parts. Uh, not all pump shotguns are, are created equal, they can hold different amounts of ammo and maybe do different amounts of damage, uh, unconfirmed, but I know they can have different magazine sizes. So if this one turns out to be better than the one we crafted, we'll, uh, we'll use this one instead. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Weighted head mod. Uh, arguably the most important melee mod. Uh, maybe, you know, that's subjective, but in my opinion, this is always my favorite mod to see. It's very impactful. It increases your chance to stun and slow enemies with melee hits. I think we'll pick up one more Gravedigger mod. We can throw that on our wrench uh, just to up its block damage when the time comes. And these bandages are so cheap, I just can't say no. Let's take those. <gasps> Crucible! Oh my god! 8,000? I've never... 
just come across a crucible in a shop before like this this is the holy grail boys like oh my god i cannot believe we just i've only ever found the crucible recipe once out in the open world i've never just found a straight crucible here in the open world or in the shop i didn't even know how much they cost um so that's eight thousand so we are absolutely gonna be saving up and buying that uh but i can't stay here and gush all day let's keep moving that's so impactful. This is going to allow us to craft forge steel in our forges. Uh, so no more wrenching streetlights. Very, very, very impactful item. One of the most impactful in the game by far. Armor plating mod schematic. That's tempting. If it was the better version, the banded armor, I would definitely be picking that up. But I think I'm okay for now. Uh, five shotgun parts. That's also tempting. Yeah, let's go for it. We're going to want to craft a level 5 pump shotgun in the near future. And we got... We might actually have enough parts as of today, because we got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're going to be really close. Uh, either way. Another wood splitter mod. They're so cheap, and I could probably find a tool to put it in. Let's pick that up. Uh, we can find engines out in the open world. We don't need to spend 1600 on one, although it is a little bit tempting. And we can grab that armor pocket mod and find a home for it on one of our pieces. 10% more damage with 9 mil weapons. Uh, if we were doing a 9 millimeter build, that would be hugely impactful. But as it is, we are not, and I am not interested. I would love to find some water. Why don't we buy this can of stock? That will give us a little bit of water. And come over to this vending machine. He doesn't have any beverages for sale unfortunately uh, but we need to keep moving let's go loot that place over to the east and hopefully we'll find something to drink in the POI you know I have never been out here before we are far up to the northeast I've never really gone past the trader before there's a little lake and of course we're surrounded by cougars which is always fun Let's pop off this Hunter mod and throw in our Weighted Head mod that's going to be much more impactful. God damn, there's a bear, a zombie, a cougar around here. I do not feel safe at all. I'm just going to chill next to the motorcycle. I'm trying to find a home for this pocket mod. I think for the time being I'm just going to pop off this armor mod. It's not going to make a big difference. And we can look into min-maxing that a little bit more tonight. Let's get this quest going. Ooh, three acid? That's real good. Somebody got woken up. Hi, bud. Let's uh try and deal with this guy a bit more carefully than the last one. Yikes! God, lumberjacks are so freaking scary. Hi, right, cool. Start this up and get to looting. Looks like we got a shotgun messiah crate in here. What's in the box? We got five steel club parts. Very cool. We can scrap that for the iron. Let's just take care of this guy before he becomes an issue when we're inside. Come on, buddy. Get up. You're tougher than that. Ow! God damn. I am not good at fighting lumberjacks for some reason. They just move differently than other zombies. Or maybe I'm just playing like shit today. Uh, here we go. This is the entrance around back. We're going to have some friends, I'm sure. So let's just close that and see what happens. Good old construction worker. Nice two shots. Very good. Anybody else? There you are. <laughs> Get dunked on. All right, looks like we're clear down here. Let's loot this all up real quick. Excellent. We found some red tea. Hopefully we can find some other beverages. Because we are getting pretty darn dehydrated. And another water. Yeah, we found some mushroom spores. I like mushrooms because you can grow them indoors. You don't they don't require a crop plot. You could just kinda like stick them on your wall. And as they grow, you can just eat them raw, or every time you get five, you can turn them into more mushroom spores. Oh, level six scrap gloves. That's pretty darn good. That's going to open up two mod slots for us, which is going to allow us to take off, put back on the mods that we took off today. 
which I like. And do 10% more damage to vultures. Uh, what the hell? Let's just read it. Hello? Is anybody up here? Hi! <laughs> nice entrance. You really stuck that landing, didn't you? Do we have anything up here? Oh, ho, 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 ho. my spidey senses were tingling, and they were tingling just right. Ah, another level one hunting knife. I guess we have reached the Iron Age as we're finding all tier two tools today, which is kind of a good feeling. Some painkillers. I'm almost tempted to take those. If we take another hit, I'll be popping some painkillers, but as of right now, I think we're good. Let's just shut this door. It's a big mama after all. Oh god! Oh god! Fall down. I'm having to adjust to this baseball bat. Its uh, attacks are much slower. Or at least they feel much slower. So we gotta be careful. We got a spider zombie. There's no great way to deal with these guys. I can't get them through the door, which is ideal. There we go. More painkillers won't say no to that. Oh, isn't this nice? A little balcony out here. Nothing meaningful in the duffel bag, but we can, of course, scrap these chairs for the iron. Nothing wrong with that. And we already looted this bathroom. Let's see what's in this last bedroom. And then I want to say we're done with this place. We got some shades. As always, going to take apart this bed for the springs and the pipes. And we got an ammo pile over here. Good stuff, good stuff. Sewing kits are always useful. Got to use them in a lot of high-end armor recipes. And we got the White River Supplies. And that's going to do it for this little POI. That was all in all pretty easy and enjoyable. Uh, it sounds like there's a pissed off bear out front, which is kind of alarming. Let's uh, try to deal with this without getting ourselves killed. Let's try and get good headshots here. Conserve as much ammo as possible. But we are going to be making the switch to shotguns probably at the end of today. So I'm not super concerned with using up all of my 762. And there's another lumberjack out there. Jeez, guys. Would you freaking die already? Come on. Go into the light. All right. The bear's dead. Let's just head around with our baseball bat and deal with the lumberjack by hand. Come here, you prick. Yeah. Your clothing is out of style. I got some beer and some brass. Let's carve up this bear real quick. Very nice. Let us head back home. And it's only hour 15, so we could raid another place, but we really need to keep working on the base. So I'm just gonna head straight home. We're gonna turn in this quest and do some work on the base. But we also have to remember that that trader has a crucible for sale, so we need to get 8,000 before he resets on day 13, which is very doable. I almost forgot. Let's put a little X on that. Not that we'll ever be back up that way, but I like to put Xs on things I've looted. It makes me happy. I didn't Hi, Jen. Think you had it in you. Good job. Uh, another hunter's journal. Let's see what this one does. Uh, learn about harvesting more lead and brass from sinks and plumbing. I don't really care, but I'll just read it for the hell of it. See what you got as far as quests. We're looking at two close buried supplies and a fetch. I think I'll actually take a buried supplies because uh, I wouldn't mind getting some more clay. And they're just nice and easy. We're at a point where we can dig them up very, very quickly. And Jen's inventory did reset today as well. She's got 95 forged steel. Normally, I would try and buy all of that. But obviously, uh, Big Boy has a crucible for us. So we're not going to be worried about that at all. Ooh, level 3 robotic sledge. We're going to need one of these for our horde base. Fortunately, we don't need it immediately. But if we can pick this up, obviously Crucible comes first, but if we can also afford this before the reset happens, I will try and pick that up. Anything in the secret stash? 
Nothing importante. All right, thanks, Jen. Let's get home and get a little bit of work done on the base. Let's take out our new forge and slap it down in this corner right here, I'm thinking. We'll probably get a second cement mixer going at some point. That'll go there. And this corner will just be for spiders or something. I don't know. Let's also put these mushrooms up on the wall behind our chem station. Those will start to grow and eventually they'll get nice and big and we can harvest them and eat them. I'm gonna throw this hunter mod onto our stone axe. It's not the best mod we could put there, but it is gonna get our block damage up to 40, which is nice. And we can put this wood splitter mod on our shovel. Obviously we're not gonna be harvesting wood with it, but it is gonna up the block damage a little bit. And this grave digger mod will come into play later on, so let's just throw that in there. Let's get 750 pieces of crushed sand moving, and we'll get some more concrete going in a little bit. We got two additional layers reinforced up to cobblestone. Uh, this is where the catwalk is going to sit. I'm not sure exactly where the staircase is going to start yet. I believe it's going to start right here and go up, but I need to give that some more thought, and we are running out of time before the horde gets here. So I'm going to get prepared, and uh, we'll work on this some more tomorrow. We also got two skill points today. I'm going to throw those into boom shtick. And we are going to pull out one of our pump shotguns and uh, retire our AK. It served us very, very well, but there's a time to rest. And our little AK has finally reached that point. And there is absolutely a difference between shotguns here. Uh, this one does 12 damage per pellet and has a magazine size of 9. This one does 11 damage per pellet and has a magazine size of 8. And it also has higher durability. And I believe this is the one that we bought from the trader today. So the one that we crafted was actually inferior as a weapon, which is just kind of interesting to me. Uh, let's pull out the Crippola mod as we don't have anything better to put in our shotgun currently. We're just going to be using that. Uh, let's stick our 762 up in there, grab some shotgun shells, and retire our drum magazine mod. For the moment, I'm almost positive... We cannot put that in a pump shotgun. It has to be the auto shotgun, which is just fine. Get this bad boy loaded up. And let's grab some explosives before those guys get going. Maybe drink some red tea. Hi, friends. You're about to die soon. I think we got a nice rhythm going here. Just wait until a nice big group of them pile up. And just kind of swing at them just to have fun. And then we back up. Give them a nice warm welcome. Oh dear. Well, that didn't quite go where I wanted it to. Let's get another one out there just because. And then just kind of rinse and repeat. You know, I'm not going to say it's a perfect system, but it's working. have vultures beating on the roof so if we're so inclined we can always whoa come up here and just deal with them come back asshole and that will just save us the trouble of having to repair our roof later although it does make the zombies scatter when we hop on that ladder which is a little inconvenient because I want them to be grouped up right here for obvious reasons And it definitely seems to affect the damage 
when the bomb lands on this side of the door as opposed to actually being out there with them. It still messes them up when it's on our side, but not nearly as bad. Oh, hi. Get out of here. You're not welcome on this side of the fence, sir. You know, ever since we started focusing on explosives, I feel like we don't even need this horde base. I almost feel like I could hold down any horde here almost indefinitely. The only downside... Well, I mean, we could eventually turn this into a steel hatch, but, you know, if you were looking for ideas and you didn't want to put in all this effort of, you know, building this giant horde base, which, you know, granted, works great. I've used it before. But yeah, you could just survive in a little shack like this with one steel hatch and just a ton of explosives for a long, long time. Uh, all that being said, let's pop on our lucky looter goggles and uh, get some of these goodies. Oh, fucking cornmeal. Get the hell out of here. Let's see, we did get a shotgun book. Shotgun Messiah number two. Craft special ammunition used to breach secure blocks. Never actually tried this stuff. It seems kind of impractical. I guess you could use it as an alternative to lockpicks. Maybe later on we'll try and play with that stuff just for the sake of playing with it. Uh, we did get an iron shovel. That has a block damage of 46. I'm thinking that is not going to be an upgrade. Let's just scrap these two. Other than that, we got some stuff that we can sell. We got some food, drinks, ammo. Nothing very impactful, but that is okay. Let's go ahead and eat some of this food and get all organized and see if there's anything else we want to do tonight. We are down to 29 pipe bombs, which is not bad, but it's also not great. It's looking like we're going through about 20 per night. Maybe not quite 20, but something in that neighborhood. Let's just get a few more craft in because I don't want to have to hold back with these things. It's allowing us to get through the horde so, so quickly. And we do need to craft some more of these short iron pipes. Why don't we just go for like... Oh uh, yeah, what the hell, 82. That seems just fine. Let's throw a little fuel in that fire. We have some skill points to spend. Three of them, in fact. And we are going to continue to finish filling out the strength tree. We're going to put one more point into boomstick, bringing our shotgun uh, capabilities up very, very high. To rank four then we're going to put one more point into minor 69er one more point into mother load and we're going to max these out tomorrow other than that in the strength tree we're just going to want to max out heavy armor at some point no major rush it's just going to make us better at wearing heavy armor reduce the penalties and it's going to allow us to craft level five heavy armor once we get all the way up here and as we found the steel armor schematic a couple days ago we're going to be able to craft level five steel armor which is great Let's get some more concrete moving over tonight, 858, that sounds wonderful. And for the first time in my life, I'm actually saying I need to go get more plant fiber. Because <laughs> uh, we need one plant fiber per pipe bomb, and we're just running out. Alright, other than that, uh, this was a really good day. And tomorrow is just going to be all about making money, trying to save up enough to go buy that crucible. I'm feeling more and more confident about staying in this little our little workshop to fight the hordes for longer than I was expecting just because of how powerful pipe bombs are working with this setup. Plus, if we can get that crucible, we can turn this into a steel hatch, which is going to drastically increase it, its hit points. And being able to craft out the steel will obviously be the resource that we need to keep it repaired. So, yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I love your faces, and I'll see you here next time. Bye.